Good morning, everybody. I'm supposed to be a blessing. This is a reading for my air signs. If you are a Virgo, Gemini, or Libra, this reading is for you. If you're new here, I welcome you here. Please take a moment to like, subscribe, and comment. And with that being said, this is your reading for December 11th, 2020. First and foremost, I see for you guys that you definitely need to follow your intuition regarding everything that's taking place within your life. I do see that your third eye is definitely working and is very active. So that's a good thing. I see also you're going to have to follow your intuition in regard to if you want to have victory in regard to whatever is keeping you stuck. Some of you are stuck. You're not moving forward or backwards in regard to something. You need to look outside yourself in order to figure this thing out or look at things from a different perspective. I also see here there's definitely going to be moving or hitting things head on, you guys. And that's a great thing. Also, what's coming up next for you guys is the star card. So, there's definitely going to be some balance that's taking place within your life. Okay, so you got balancing some things out. This is a wish fulfillment card as well. I do see recognition coming to you guys too. You're definitely in your emotions in regard to something here, air signs. You could definitely be dealing with the earth sign individual. A Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn could be coming toward you. Or you could be dealing with another air sign individual. It tells me that you've been working extremely hard here. You're sucking out of one thing, you're going to another, as well as justice. Things are balancing out for you, like I said. And you could be dealing with the Libra here. And if you have a court case or anything like that, it's going to go well for you. So don't worry so much about it. Standing your strength, you could be dealing with the Leo. Trust and believe in yourself. As well as your intuition is going to get you to where you need to be. Also, see whatever seeds that you planted, you guys, it's going to work out in your favor. I do see um, blessings coming in and prosperity. Hmm. Could be dealing with the Scorpio Cancer Pisces individual, or you could be dealing with the Leo Sagittarius, okay? The full card tells me that there's going to be a new beginning for you guys, as well as you need to get rest to rejuvenate your mind, your body, and your spirit. Your world is definitely changing, but it's changing for the better, is what I'm seeing. The moon card, be careful of um, lies, deception, and deceit, because anything that's in the dark is going to come to the light. Could be dealing with a cancer individual, and I see emotional fulfillment and happiness taking place for you guys, as well as you honing in your craft and your skill, doing what you need to do in order to get to where you need to be. I have a soul message for you guys, and the soul message is saying, where am I called to use my voice right now? Mm-hmm. So you have to think about that. You have a soul script that was written to be spoken. Your story matters, and it's time for you to share it with the world. So what you need to do for this soul action is share your story with at least one person today. Be brave and speak your truth. Your voice will be the catalyst for healings in others. Also, there was another message that came out for you guys today, and it says, Am I consistently showing up? So you need to think about that. So this is what it says. It says, some trade their dreams for comfort, yet comfort is the enemy of progress. Success requires showing up every single day, even when you don't feel like it, and even when it feels uncomfortable, it takes guts and an endless vision to stay consistent to your dream. And the soul action says you can journal where you can, be more consistent in your life in alignment with your soul for goals, then just show up. All right, you guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this reading today. Please take a moment to like, subscribe, comment, share my videos, and tell people about Miss Best. If you're interested in your own personal reading, you can always call me at 347-227-573. That being said, you guys, have a truly blessed day. Thank you.